some people do almost anything to make the news. Kind of like these guys here. They're out here hooting it up, having a good time. They did get in a little bit of trouble later on with Johnny Law when he pulled him over, but you know what? They got their goal and they made the news. And welcome back to this week's episode of Boating News of the Week. Our first story to make headlines over the last couple weeks was a ghost ship that was discovered. This is the MV Alta, and it washed ashore in Ireland during the storm Dennis just a few weeks back. The ship was discovered by locals, abandoned of all crew, but this was no surprise, as this vessel actually has been drifting in the Atlantic for over a year as a ghost ship with no crew on board. The crew was rescued off this boat back in October of 2018, when the vessel became disabled about 1,400 miles southeast of Bermuda. The vessel's remote location at the time of the rescue made it impossible to tow in until now. Our second incident to make some headlines over the last couple weeks, well, was a whale watching tour near Virginia Beach, Virginia. Here you can see these wonderful people enjoying a nice, crisp, cool day in Virginia, as they're coming out of an inlet to begin a whale watching tour. Everybody's kind of loaded up in the bow of the boat here, and you can tell there's a little bit of a swell coming in. It's not a crazy chop, it's a nice clean swell, but still, there are some good sized waves, and unfortunately, because of the amount of weight in the front of the boat, things are about to go a little wrong. They do get extremely fortunate here as nobody goes overboard. There were a few minor injuries, and the vessel just suffered minor damages as well, breaking a few windows. For those who love cruising, ports of call can be some of your favorite things to check out. And some of your least favorite things are probably that final port of call when you're coming back in. But if you're ever thinking about taking a cruise, some of these video images you're about to see may change your mind a little bit. This is the cruise ship Grand Celebration coming back into Palm Beach, Florida. Here you can see the way this vessel is rocking, that they're facing some extreme currents, seas, and waves. And some of the angles this vessel hits in these scenes is just a little wild. Right here, it doesn't look that bad from a perspective we're looking at, but I can't imagine being on the boat with the angles the boat's tilting at. It would be extremely noticeable. Things would be moving. Plates would be falling off of tables. It would be a little bit of a crazy scene. In the end, there were no reported serious injuries, and the boat did make it in safely. Everybody has their happy place, and for some people, it's the happiest place on Earth, and that's right, I'm talking about Disney. Well, this past week, a few people had a little extra happiness in their adventure at Disney, as this is images of the Jungle Cruise ride in Disney. That's right, this boat is sinking. As of the time I'm making this video, Disney still has not announced the reason the vessel sank, nor how many people were on the vessel at the time, but here you can see there were obviously several people on the ride. Disney did get everybody some dry clothes, and I was told everybody did wind up enjoying the rest of their day with no injuries. Our next event to make news this week is going to show us a unique way to get a new seaside home. Here you're going to see the Coast Guard lifting two people and their dog from their vessel about 15 miles off the coast of Seaside, Oregon. Here the vessel became disabled in rough water and was unable to safely navigate into the port. The Coast Guard was called and came out to rescue everybody. Due to the rough sea conditions, the Coast Guard at the time was unable to safely pull this vessel back into shore either. So the vessel was kind of monitored and was left adrift out to sea. When just a few days later, with the rough sea conditions, this vessel did of course wind up in shore in Seaside, Oregon. This is one unique way to try and get yourself a new seaside home. Thanks for watching this week's episode of Boating News of the Week. If you ever see anything crazy going on in your waterways or anything boat newsworthy, hit me up on Facebook or Instagram and let me know, and maybe you'll see your video clips over here as well. And if you haven't already, please drop an anchor on the subscribe button. If not, I'm coming to steal your drain plug.